So for celebrating Christmas, I'm going to be giving away a big grin face mask on December 18th and the 25th. Now, the way you enter this giveaway is screenshot that you have subscribed and turn on post notifications, and you enter my Discord and put it in the giveaway chat. Hope to see you all there, and good luck. What's up, guys? See here, Becky again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this hard to raid 200 IQ river base. Now, if you look at it from the top, it's not a very big base. Basically, it's just a 2x2 two two with some honeycomb, or at least that's what you think it would be. But once you open the first two doors, you know, oh, it's just a little bit larger than an airlock. No, you got two shotgun traps in the base, and you got this thing. Now, this thing is a little bit weird. I give 100% credit to Tronin uh, for actually finding this glitch out. Or well, it's not really a glitch, it's more of a command. So, if you guys don't know, you cannot crouch in water while swimming like this. But you can see, I just crouched and went underneath the wall, which you shouldn't be able to. And basically, how you do that is, you go into your console command. And you type in auto crouch. And then you put true. Now that's going to set it up for auto crouch true and then what you're going to want to do is put in right cfg now once you've done that it's not going to say denied it just says that because i already have it in there but what you're going to do is you want to go into steam you want to click on rust go to properties local files browse local files then what you're going to do, CFG files, client CFG, right click on that, go to properties, and press read only. So it will always work for you. After you've done that, you can get to this room, which is the room where uh, you auto crouch through to. And um, you got all these, so if anyone actually does know about the glitch, or just the command, not a glitch, but if they do know about the command, you got uh, five shotgun traps just to uh, kill them, which may be a little well overkill, but you can never do too much to protect your base. Now, you got this little glitch as well, which you can go through the wall, which I think is pretty cool as well. All you gotta do to make sure raiders don't actually come in here is pick up this and this. Oh, whoops. And that. So now, if they even send that chain out there, they can't do that. Which they could probably place through the wall, so you might want to pick this one up as well. If they even know about the glitch, which not a lot of people do. Now that you've done that, you can come in here. Take a look at your loot room, which is just, you know, this is the 2x2. Two two. You got 8 large boxes, 4 small boxes. Tier 3, you got your sleeping bag here. You go in here. You got your vault with the um, draw boxes to get the stuff out of two boxes and two small boxes and as you guys can see in this corner over here it takes 3614 wood 1200 stones 9700 metal frags and about 400 high qual metal to build this entire base then TC this is your upkeep so to go through doors it costs about 20 20 C so to go through doors it cost around 20 c4 and one rocket to raid and if you go through walls it's only going to take 20 c4 to raid so it's about even if you go through walls and doors but anyways let's have no more talk about this let's get straight into the build all right guys so first off you're going to want to play some twig just like this making a little diamond shape then what you're going to do is you're going to want to come to the side place walls here and here Place a twig foundation here. Put a twig right here. Make sure that it works and it crouches when you go under. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna just go ahead and put it right here, right here. All those there. Put it all here. Completely wall this area off. Go right here. Go right here. And then what you're going to do is you just want to upgrade all this to sheet metal. Now that you've done all that, you just want to place a door here and a door here. Make sure you lock them both. 
in, make sure this works. Yep. Then after that, you can just come through here. Go ahead and place these down. Make sure they are armored. Of course, place your walls. Then armor those as well. Then what you want to do is place a wall here. Window frame here. And armor them both. Place all the floors up in here. Make them high crack. And then you got the little bit of this that you gotta do. Oh, I didn't. There we go. And finish that off. Oh, wait, no, this is not high quality. What am I doing? Go ahead and do this. Make sure this is sheet metal. Not high quality. Good. Alright, now you got this little shell of a base that you can do basically anything you want to with. So, first off, you want to place a wall here, make it high wall. You want to place half of here, place it in there, and you can go ahead and just, you know, get rid of that. Upgrade this to stone or wood, whichever one you'd like, it doesn't really matter. Just don't do metal frags or high wall because it just costs more. After you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and go in your inventory. And you're going to want to grab, let's see, I think I have two ladders. Yep. Place one here like this. Place one over there like that. You want to go ahead and grab one of these. And where's that other one? What I hear? Another one. All right. Now place it just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two chairs. Alright. Place them just like this. Make sure you can sit down and do the glitch, because if it won't work, you gotta replace the ladders. Alright. Go. And after that, you're gonna want to go ahead, grab some shotgun traps, cause um, you know, you can just put one or two. But honestly, I like having five, just cause if a uh, whole you know whole clan wants to walk in your base at one time, it just kills every single one of them. Just go ahead and put all these here. Yeah, I know I didn't have these here in the introduction, but um, yeah, you're gonna definitely want to put three furnaces right over here. I don't know why I didn't place them. I think I just probably forgot. Who knows? Place some of those. You can just jump over, make them all work, and you can just. Right. Now, that you've done all this, you're gonna want to go back into your loot room. And we're gonna want to create this. So, make sure you just grab, I don't know, a lot of boxes. <laughs> Come in here. Actually, you know what? I just realized I did this wrong for some reason. I don't know how I didn't see that a minute ago. You wanna make this a triangle. Actually, you know what? No, I'm wrong again, dude. Can't get this right. What you wanna do is grab a tier three. Place it right here. Like that. So I can go there. Upgraded the wood and stone. Now you're good to go. Grab six small storage boxes. Then you can just start placing everything. Of course, you want to do this little tier three glitch. I don't know why it has not been patched, but you know, it still hasn't for some reason. Then you're just going to want to go ahead and line up all your boxes. do the same thing right here. Then you're going to want to 
up a small box here. And small box right here. Oh, nice. So we can get both of these. We get two of those. Now that you've done that, you should have around eight large boxes and five small boxes here. Actually, you know what? You're going to have to move this to put your garage door. So then you're going to want to put a salt in here. Get stone. Get a garage door. Pull it through down. Then you can put this little box again. Uh oh. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, and then you're just going to want to go ahead and lock it all up. Now to the next part is your TC room. I want to go ahead, just grab you a T TC. Pull out that thing on down. And that coin. Get a shelf. So just like that. Get two sleeping bags. This one here. I want here. Place box here. The box here. Alright, now that you've done that, you just go ahead. Go ahead. Hide your wall. Make it high. Alright, you're gonna. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead. Put your wall here. Make it high. Claw. Get two drop boxes. Oops, I actually got three. One of those there, one of those there, out here. Now that you've done that, you can come in here, place your two small storage boxes. Alright, now that's the entire inside of the base done. Got this little thing. You're going to want to go back outside and add the honeycomb. Now the honeycomb for this base is like extremely easy. I'll just go ahead and make it metal so don't take it down the way. Honeycomb is just a basic 2x2 honeycomb design. Nothing crazy, but except for right here, you need the honeycomb on both sides because then it'll just be one wall through the glitch and then it's just not even going to be worth it. Make sure you do wall those off. Now, this is only one layer of honeycomb, but you can add as many as you want to, like, to not make the door path crazy. But, yeah, this, this space has a lot of potential. Anyone could add anything to it. You can add a shooting floor if you'd like. Just make it, you know, a lot less still afraid. Now, what you want to do, go ahead and grab the half walls stone there, and you're going to want to add metal ones all along here, and here. Just go ahead and make a nice little circle, and of course just wall them off. Alrighty, there you have it, and that's the whole honeycomb and the <laughs> tire base. So I'll give you guys real quick the uh, all finished. Through here, to the couch. Through here, and yeah, these things would shred you. Go through here. Got your loot room. Got your vault. Got your honeycomb. And yeah, that's the entire base. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment of what you think I could have done better or some suggestions for the other bases that I make. And make sure you hit that sub button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.